today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. This is going to be a really interesting one um, about a second passion or a third passion. I have a lot of passions. Um, but as a kid, I used to collect Pokemon cards very, very avidly. I think I counted, I had like over a thousand cards at one point or another. Um, they're hidden somewhere. I plan on selling them all, but uh, they, I've never put myself up to it. All the ones I had, because a lot of them were old, old sets. Those are the ones worth money. Yeah. Um, but Hayden, for my birthday, bought me a set of the Sun and Moon Celestial Storm cards. This is the newest set I've, I've ever owned, and I think it's been really interesting. Um, part, that's part of the reason I haven't sold the cards yet. I was like, well, I mean, I'm going to be adding to them. Yeah, I haven't bought Pokemon cards in years. I know. I got into it, like... What was it, like three or four years ago? I was like, actually started playing the game. It's actually pretty fun. Yeah, I never got, I never got like uh, the Hang of the Rule set because it's different from the games. So I'd, I'd be playing the cards, and I'd be like, I just played like the game was. I'd have PP, and I'd have all that stuff. But we're gonna open it up. I'm actually before I tear it up. Oh, this is the Swamp Hurt pack of the Celestial Storm cards. Um, we're outside because. One, we just got back from doing a photo shoot with the cars. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, go ahead and follow us there. Uh, one low 4.0 for myself and practice underscore truth for this kid. You can go check out the S2000 some more, which is off camera to the side here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and see what we have in here. Um, Hayden knows how to do pack openings. I've never done a pack opening. You guys obviously know this. So he's gonna walk me through the process of doing a proper pack, pack opening. So, I am destroying this box. So the box comes with, okay, make sure that was everything. Has a coin. I used to love the coins. Mm -hmm. Like I used to, I used to love collecting them. I have a, a metal one of Lugia on it somewhere. Um, so you have a play mat, which is cool. Uh, I lost all of mine actually. I don't, I don't know where any of mine are. Um, GX, bro. The GX stuff. Is that the new like EX cards of GX now? I think so. It's been years since I played. I know. I haven't. So the last time I was big on collecting, collecting them was about Heart Gold and Soul Silver around that time. It's about 2010. I got into it like X and Y. Yeah. I mean, I always collected the cards ever since like 2005. But. Yeah. I remember my first set. I had um, cards from uh, Ruby and Sapphire from that generation. Uh, that was my first ten. I was a Metagross ten. So start off. We've got the Swampert on the top of it. Um, is it a hollow? Looks like it. Is it hollow? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if like, the whole card had to be considered holographic in order for it to be considered a hollow card. Um, we have the little code card for the online. I'll probably put this up here, and whoever gets to it gets it, because uh, I haven't played the online card game. I haven't, get, I haven't been able to get it to launch. It's like my computer, for some reason, does not like the Pokemon trading card game online. Computer I'm not doesn't like anything. Huh? The computer doesn't like anything. That chunk just mm, kills me sometimes. Hey, Seuss, if you're watching this, contact me. I want to. I need to get that thing fixed. You need a refund. I don't know about a refund. I didn't buy it straight from Asus. So. You need a refund. <laughs> get it from Highland. That's how bad it's fucking you. It's destroying me. We also have the coin. I'm going to show you guys the coin up close because I think it's pretty. I'm going to bring the uh, Swampert card up here as well. The uh, Swampert card is actually really nice. This is it right here in full detail. I don't know if you guys can see it from the box, but really pretty stuff. Oh, fuck. What? Does it have a list of what it has? I hope you get this card. Oh. Let me show the camera, dude. Look at that. Look at that. That's uh, st st Stack Attacker, I think. Yeah. That looks cool. All the Ultra Sign I like stuff. the... Uh, and here's the coin. The full art cards. That yeah. Really sweet. Dude, I had... Uh, remember in the Soul Silver and Heart Gold days where they had the, uh, the ones where it was like a half of the card? And it was yeah. a... Yeah, I have a, a one half of the Lugia one line around somewhere in my, uh, my box. Or my bag, I should say. So now we have the actual cards themselves. They're, I like this. Dude, they shine, though. I do. It's amazing. I'm going to start using that for, like, backyard football games and stuff because we used to use the Pokemon trading card game coin for it. Um, but the box that the cards come in is absolutely pristine. I love this right here. We didn't have this back in the uh, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald days. This is, this is nice. Really, really nice. I'm going to try to take care of that and open it nice and easy, not kill it. So, we got the rule card for the uh, GX cards. And I'm pretty sure these come with a list of cards that they come with, but I'm not looking at that because that ruins the surprise factor. Okay, so, hey, we're talking, so walk me through the process on how to properly do a card pack opening. I don't know with these. 
I know how to do it with the individual little packs. You know the pack like what is it, like? Oh, the little, little ten one. cards. Or yeah. I thought it would be like a couple packs of those, like in here. Yeah. Like, so just one just of one bit, So you just gotta look through. You got like a bunch of energies and stuff. Yeah. That's to get you started playing. So we have a blue energy followed by. Uh, I'm going to try to find somewhere to set these down they don't blow all over the place. I have another blue energy. Some more blue energy. You probably just want to go down. There's probably going to be like 20 of them. Okay, there's only four, thankfully. I see some in the back, though. I get it because it's the Swampert set, so it's going to have a lot of water energy in it. This is to actually get you to play, though. Yeah, it's like the starter kit kind of deal. Well, I'm going to teach you how to play. I actually play. Is this another game you're going to absolutely destroy me at? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be like Smash Brothers Part Two. <laughs> so we got a Mac Cargo. Um, I used to love these as a kid, the Mac Cargos. Um, let's see, that was Gen Three, wasn't it? They came in. It was it Gen Two? Uh, Slugma and Mac Cargo. I think it was Gen Three. I think it was Three. Correct us if we're wrong here. Um, <laughs> oh my God, you guys don't know anything. I know. It's not like I've been playing the game since Red and Blue were first out. I mean, you did, didn't you? What Red and Blue? Yeah, you, no, you were just born when they came out. Yeah, I was 98. I was one. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even alive yet. So we got the Mercargo. Uh, where's my stat going? We have the Professor Kukui uh, trainer card, which is nice. Um, draw two cards during this turn. Your Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to the opponent's active uh, before applying weakness and resistance. That's pretty cool. Better heard uh, Tomei. We have another water energy. We have a fire energy. That's a nice change up. Um, oh, this this is the same. They've been using this trainer art since back in the red and blue days. That yeah. copycat card. Because I have some that are um, old, old Pokemon cards with that uh, art on it still. So we have the copycat card, which is uh, shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand. So that's interesting. I remember that art. We have a Skitty. Anyone remember the anime, the Skitty? That was a... Uh, like ridiculous but chase it mean, didn't chase its own tail a lot or something like that was that was the whole gag with it i don't know don't think i saw that i don't know that was like that was like the um, ruby sapphire uh, anime when that was out we have some more water energies i have a lure ball flip three coins for each head put an evolution pokemon from your discard pile into your hand so that's pretty neat the master royal um trainer card Attach a basic energy card from your hand to one of your stage two uh, grass, water, or fire Pokemon. So that's pretty, uh, that might come in handy. We have a Snover, Gen 4. That guy's absolute baller favorite. It's not just the favorite, it's the best. <laughs> well, there goes a war. All the Pokemon people that still watch this channel from 2015. Well, if they say anything else but Gen 4, they're wrong. <laughs> Especially if they say Gen 7 or 8, 8, yeah. Gen 8 isn't even out yet. I know it's gonna suck though. I guarantee it. You have very How bad seven was. <laughs> it's going downhill, guys. No. Jump ship. Let's go. Let's hope. I'm, I've got high hopes for Let's Go. That'll be good. Do you, were you the one who told me that it's supposed to be a lot easier? Yeah, uh, I read an interview with Masuda, and they were like, uh, "That's more targeted towards kids." I was like, Great. "But they said it's also supposed to get more difficult over time." So I'm like, "I don't know what to believe." So we have more water energy. We have a Del Caddy, so that's cool. We can use that with that Skitty card we got earlier. Because I do know the, how the evolution mechanic works, is you have to have a Skitty out before you can use the Del Caddy card. That's one thing I do remember. We have a Lily Trainer card. Uh, don't let all the weirdos see this. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. Um, if it's the, your first turn, draw cards until you have eight in your hand. So that's... that's uh, I have to read more of that. My brain does. <gasps> it's my boy. We got a Mudkip. And if you didn't know, Mudkip is my absolute favorite Pokemon. It's part of the reason why I love Gen 3 so much. I have a bunch of Mudkip stuff. Um, I have a plush line around somewhere that I'm going to have to go hunt down now. Um, Tackle and Wave Splash. So, you know, basic Mudkip card. But still really neat. And that's handy that it came in the Swampert set. I wonder if that means we're going to have a Marsh Top too in here somewhere. I guarantee there'll be a Marsh Top. So you can be able to use your Swampert. Yeah. So you have a fire energy card. You probably have like two or three blood kits in there, I would think. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, I have an Apricorn Maker card. This is a uh, search your deck for two, up to two item cards that have the word ball in their name. Uh, reveal them and put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Interesting. Ball. <laughs> ball. 
play Trevor. Trevor's last name is Ball. Hey, really? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, we have Water Energies galore. Uh, escape Rope. What does this one do? Uh, each player switches are active with one of their bench Pokemon. Your opponent switches first. If a player does not have a bench Pokemon, that player does not switch. So, I guess that means if you're down to your last card, I guess. And uh, that means you don't switch. And then you can't switch. We have a Nest Ball. Uh, which is search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench and shuffle your deck. So, that'll come into handy. And we have the Abominus Snow that goes with that Snow Ogre we had early on in the deck. That's what I like about these things. They're yeah. like very balanced, so you, like, you can actually use them. Yeah, that's what I hate with the little, um, the little, the little uh, ones you can rip open. Yeah. Um, they, like they're like ten bucks. Or like, I don't know how expensive they are, but they never have like the evolutionary stages with them to work. So we have an Abominus Snow. But that's where you get like the super really cool cards. Yeah. You get randomly the, in those. There's the Marsh Stomp. Um, so we got a Marsh Stomp here as well. We go with that Mudkip we have. Uh, has muddy water and surf, so pretty nice little move set. Okay, so we have some more water energy as well. And then we have an Ultra Ball, which is... That sounds like a nice truck. What? <laughs> Discard two cards from your hand. If you do, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So we have the Ultra Ball as well here. We have Lady. This looks exactly... This looks like they took the art straight out of X and Y. Looks like they... Does doesn't it like that? Uh, the battle chateau, whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. It looks like they took that straight out of X and Y. Uh, search your deck for up to four basic energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, there wasn't there another card that had the same description. We have a slugma, so that works with that Macarga we had earlier as well. They're really good with these, like balancing them out and stuff. That's pretty yeah. cool. We have a fire energy. Um, we have another Professor Kukui. We have some more water energy. We have another Snover. There's our second Snover. And a second Skitty as well. We also have a uh, Furfru. I remember this one. I tried getting like hyped over this Pokemon, but his stats were just not that great for competitive. Furfru? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, I, I wasn't on a fan. I like the customization aspect, but it just was not that great. Uh, but you were actually able to customize and make it look cool. Yeah, it was just, just more water energies. Yep, more water energies as well. We have another Del Caddy as well, so you can use that with the other skater we have. We have a How, uh, draw three cards, so very. Uh, or try the lever. <laughs> he doesn't have that same hatred that you do for like Blue. That's my problem with How, is he's not hateable. Or Barry, I hate it. I, I don't know. He wasn't a douche. He's still stupid. Barry was just obnoxious. I wanted to kick him off the bridge. <laughs> you want to kick him into the lake at the beginning of the game? Mm -hmm. We have a rescue stretcher. Uh, put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand and shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile, discard pile into your deck. So that that's like a reviver, a revive, isn't it? Basically, yeah. bringing one of your discard out. So that'll come in a really good handy if you like. Like you're running Swampert and you get absolutely just wrecked. And you're just like, haha, you're thought wrong. You get some fire energies for your Mikurgo. Yep. You got more fire energies. That's upside down. We have a timer ball. Flip two coins for each head. Search your deck for an evolution. Reveal it and put it into your deck or hand and then shuffle your deck. So That's a good card. That's a very good one. Um, we have another water energy. We have a second Swampert. This one's not holographic like the one on the top of the deck was. Dude, that art's cool. It's really beautiful. I love that. Pokemon cards always have amazing art, and I want to know who draws them and does the art on them, because that's, that's some talent. We have a Nest Ball. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your deck and shuffle it. Tate and Lisa. Okay, now we're going back to my gen. This is uh, Gen 3 is my absolute favorite for obvious reasons. Mudkip. Uh, not really. That's not the only reason, but it's up there. <laughs> um, a little better. I'm triggered. <laughs> We were doing, he was doing a Nuzlocke on Platinum uh, one time, and he literally denied, because uh, yeah, it was a randomizer, uh, and a Mudkip came up, and I was like, dude, catch that Mudkip, he'll be good, he kills it, just to mess with me. <laughs> but Tate and Liza, we have, or Liza, however it's pronounced, uh, Liza. Liza. Oh, yeah. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards, and switch your active with one of your benched. So, that's interesting. We have a Dunsparce, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> We have the Dunsparce. Isn't he a meme? 
I wish you'd get an Evo, dude. Dude, Dunsparce, I feel like. Dunsparce? Yes. Oh my god, that team would be stupid. Yeah, Dunsparce is tanky as crap. Thick. Well, it's got Strike and Run and Sudden Flash. We have uh, some more water energy. We have a switch, which is just switch your active. Did a switch? <laughs> switch your active with one of your benched. Uh, it's got some really cool art on it as well. I don't even think they can really see it, but I'm just gonna show them anyway. <laughs> probably can't. They probably can't, but it's still really nice. Once they get that monitor from micro center, that's like that, that big. big. <laughs> yeah, then they'll see it. We have a Snover, another Snover. Some more water energy. We have another Slugma. Dude, that art's cool too. Yeah, it is. We have another How. I think I had one of these. Of the uh, Slugma? Yeah. It's like an old art. Like It's like a new card, but it's like that same art. I swear I have yeah. one. Like we, have a, we have a second Marsh Tomp. Uh, I don't remember if I said Marsh Tomp's moveset earlier. Uh, Muddy Water and Surf. I loved how the uh, art on the back has never changed. Yeah, it's been the same forever. That's so good. Except I have some international cards like that are Th different languages. Are different, yeah. Yeah. But like this, the American Pokemon cards, they've never like changed. Like that. We have a uh, we have another Obama Snow. We have another Mudkip. Ooh. Can't got a rep before there. Ooh, that's a good one. Frost Rotom. Ooh. Anyone in the competitive scene in the VGC like I used to be, Frost Rotom's a monster. That's Rotom Wash, bro. Rotom Wash. Yeah. I'm thinking of, that's, this was Frost. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were talking about like I thought you were talking about I who's good. I thought Rotom Wash for a second. They talking about man. The best was Rotom Lawnmower, right? <laughs> so bad. There were people that used Rotom Lawnmower and was successful with them in the VGC. I got beat by a couple people. With that Rotom Lawnmower. Yeah. They're, they're broken. Uh, Rotom myself is broken. But we have the end off. My Rotom Watch. And end off the set, we have the, the water energy. So can't thank Hayden enough for that. That was really cool. Um, I enjoy doing the pack openings. Uh, I never really got that big in the training card game. Like I said, I, I just couldn't fathom the move set. So I always played um, like it was the uh, video games because that's uh, really what got my start in Pokemon. But I still love collecting these. I'm probably going to hang on to all my cards because I really don't think I could part with them. You know, it's one of those things that, you know, it was a childhood experience. Um, I, I couldn't get rid of them. And I'm going to hold on to these forever. They're going to go on the set. I'm going to use these and like friendlies and stuff. Um, I'm definitely not doing the tournaments for that because my brain just doesn't work for that. I'll, I'll probably do Smash before I do Pokemon cards, tournament-wise. Because, you know, that'll be interesting to see. To them in Smash tournaments. We'll need to do a live stream sometime of uh, me and him playing Smash. It gets good for him, really bad for me. I have yet to win. Like, my all-time record's like 65 to... Oh. The only time I've ever beaten him is a fluke, where he killed himself by accident. Like, twice. But anyway, guys... I wraps it up. So, like I said, go follow Hayden on Instagram. Um, he just turned 21, so he had that this week. He was out of town, and this is the first video back, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first video back. Um, we usually do car stuff on this channel, but uh, the, the, I've had this since my birthday, and my whole plan was to wait to do a pack opening with him, and we've just gotten tracked in all sorts of other stuff. Um, him and his job, other things we've been doing, computer projects for him. Um, so we finally got that out of the way. So, but the, we decided to do it outside. The weather's nice. So we're just taking advantage of that. But anyway, guys, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. Something a little bit lax. Um, I know it's not a car video. We have another car mod video coming soon. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get some mods on that one soon. Yeah, we'll be doing videos on that for sure. Um, Especially you have three things that need to be done to it. Yeah, you got exhaust. You've got... Um, Bumper and headlights. So stay tuned for that if you're one of the normal car subscribers. Don't worry. This was just something we wanted to do, we thought was cool, harkening back to 2015 um, when I was a Pokemon channel. So, with all that said, be sure again to go subscribe to him, or no, subscribe, follow him on Instagram, subscribe to his imaginary YouTube channel. I'm still trying to talk him into starting one. Um, anyway, guys, see you guys again. We'll see you guys. Later.